We've got a bit of a Brexit bonanza in the sort of Sunday papers this we morning. We wanted to throw everyone off the scent and not talk about Brexit <laughs> at all, but I don't think we can really do that, no, we're given what's the in the enemy, papers. Not the enemy, no, no, I know. It does feel like we're always coming back to Brexit, but yeah. actually... There is quite a lot of fun around, isn't there, in the papers today? Well, I think we're heading for crunch time, and we may have said that several times over the last two years, but with the Chequers Summit on Friday, where the whole Cabinet are going to meet in some ghastly sleepover-type situation, <laughs> um, I think we are heading for crunch time, because if, as the papers uh, are room have, have the rumours that Ollie Robbins, the, uh, Theresa May's chief Brexit advisor, is going to try and muddy the waters and come up with all sorts of options to go in this white paper and fudges. Well, the time for fu I think Jonathan probably agrees Ideas, with this. The only thing we'll probably yeah. yeah. The, the, we'll time for, the time for fudging is over. Yeah. The EU quite rightly say, well, look, how can we can finish these negotiations if we really don't know what Britain wants to achieve at the end of them? Uh, and the worst negotiating position for Britain now is for Ollie Robbins or David Davis to go to Brussels and say, well, here are our five options on the customs union. Which one would you like to choose? <laughs> I mean, you and the EU's answer like is that. none of them, because exactly. the EU's already categorically said, this is not an a la carte menu. We can't pick and choose what we want. There is the whole single market, the whole customs union, or none of the single market, and none of the customs union. And that is something that the government still can't understand and May refuses to accept, because she knows if she accepts that proposition, she's toast. Why has it taken so long? Because I've been off for nine months having a baby and it kind of feels as if come back and we're still talking about the same thing. You, pro you say, probably planned your baby very well, <laughs> Sophie, because uh, in Theresa Way's words, nothing, nothing has, has changed. changed. <laughs> and it's nothing has changed because, unfortunately, the Prime Minister is not able to provide the leadership that is needed, yeah. partly because of the result of the election, the fact that she doesn't really have a parliamentary majority. Um, she has a split party, though I do think these splits are sometimes slightly overstated in that if you look at the sort of rem number of Remain supporting MPs who are willing to sort of go to the stake on it, there's only actually sort of a dozen, 15 of them. Whereas on the sort of Brexit side, I mean, that is the overwhelming majority. But she's got to provide a lead now. The, the time for fudging is over. The Prime Minister, after checkers, on Monday uh, next week, not this week, next week, she needs to make one of her famous big speeches and say, right, this is our position, this is what I want to negotiate, this is what I want to achieve. And this, this article on the front page of the Sunday Times effectively says, back me or sack me. Well, that's kind of what she's got to say in her speech.